Tangban actually recommends crossing the mid and tweeter over between the 2.5 to 3.5 kilohertz region with second order filters. But because we're actually gonna use really steep filters, we could technically go a little bit lower and still avoid distortion. But for the sake of simplicity, let's actually stick with the 2500 hertz recommended crossover frequency. I'll start by applying a Linkwitz Riley 8th order high pass to the tweeter and a symmetrical low pass to the mid-range. Next, I'll apply an 8th order high pass at 300 hertz to our mid-range. And lastly, I'll apply an 8th order low pass to our woofer. Now, when we measure our frequency response, we can actually see that we have these large nulls in the crossover region. To get our drivers back in phase, we'll need to reverse the polarity at our crossover points. To simplify this, we can simply invert the polarity of our mid-range driver. Doing this gives us a nice smooth on-axis response and a really smooth integration across our crossover points. When we move horizontally off-axis, we can see that our crossover points stay in phase and that we get the nice smooth gradual roll-off that we're looking for.